dear students i am dr kumar assistant professor of zoology government first grade college shira tumko district the topic of today's lecture is bugs as insect vectors in that you need to study blood sucking bugs so this comes under paper 4 that is insect vectors and diseases bsc fourth semester zoology tumkur university bugs as insect vectors or the blood sucking bugs so this slide shows there are a, a category of birds called as the kissing bugs and these bugs are responsible for causing a dangerous disease what is called as chagas disease chagas disease and you have seen and, and you are all familiar with the bed bug which is usually present at uh, the in the residential environment that in the houses order hemiptera the hemiptera means half wings referring to how the wings overlap and how they are made of two dissimilar halves okay so there are wings okay and these wings are overlapped these wings are overlapped one uh, below the other okay and they are not similar in size so this was first uh, 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 recognized by slater and borowski in the year 1978 the hemiptera or true bugs are an order of insect comprises examples cicadas aphids plant hoppers leaf hoppers and shield bugs so these are the examples which comes under the uh, hemiptera the order hemiptera so they share a common arrangement of sucking mouth parts so these bugs are adopted their uh, uh, life to uh, sucking mouth since they are blood sucking bugs okay accordingly accordingly the mouth parts are modified that is sucking type of mouth parts sucking and piercing type of mouth parts are present in these blood sucking bugs they share a common arrangement of they share a common arrangement of sucking mouth parts the vector vector is any agent that carries and transmits an infectious pathogen into another organism vector acts as a vehicle okay vector is any agent so that carries and transmit the disease causing agent that is the infectious pathogen from an infected individual to the another healthy individual so that it causes disease in the healthy individual also arthropods form a major group of pathogen vectors with uh, the mosquitoes flies sand flies lice that is human louses the fleas ticks and mites transmitting a huge number of the disease causing pathogen from one individual to the another individual that is the infected individual from infected individual to the healthy individual so that it causes the disease so many such vectors belongs to the arthropoda or hematophagus hematophagus means so these insect for some time in the in their life cycle they exclusively feed on the blood okay they exclusively which exclusively feed on the blood is what is called as hematophagus okay so at some stage of development so these uh, bugs they exclusively they depend on the other organisms as the blood as the uh, nutritive material or the food when the insect's blood 
feed when the insects blood feed the pathogen enters the blood stream of the host this is very important once the insect feeds on the uh, host naturally it releases its saliva from the proboscis okay so this saliva uh, is having a anticoagulating substance what is called as the heparin it is very much present okay once the heparin is produced into the biting spot so whatever the infectious agent which are present in the saliva naturally enters into the body of the uh, host through uh, through the bite and it enters into the general blood circulation directly triatomine bugs are responsible for the transmission of the protozoan parasite that is trypanosome okay so trypanosoma cruzi is the uh, disease causing agent which uh, causes a disease what is called as chagas disease chagas disease okay triatomine bugs are the category of bugs which are responsible for uh, transmitting the uh, disease causing agent that is trypanosoma cruzi which causes chagas disease the triatomine bugs defecate during feeding okay and the excreta contains the parasites which are accidentally smeared into the open wound by the host responding to the pain and uh, irritation from the bite here you can see this slide it it clearly shows when the uh, this is the the bug triatomine bug when when they excrete the undigested food material is having the infectious stages that is what is called as metacyclic tryptomastigotes metacyclic tryptomastigotes they are very much present in the undigested food material so they it is released directly into the soil in the soil they are quite present uh, in the scattered scattered okay once the human being comes in contact with this uh, the trypano uh, trypomastigotes this trypomastigotes try to enter into the body through the wound mucus layer or the skin okay uh, mucus skin membrane or the wound so through the, this penetration enters into the human body thereby it enters into the blood circulation and from it becomes uh, what is called as intracellular okay once the the number increases so it ruptures the entire cell okay the cell is ruptured and once the cell is ruptured so this trypomastigotes they enter into the general uh, uh, blood circulation so uh, they are very much present in the blood uh, circulating blood for uh, 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 for some time okay so by that time again when uh, this uh, bug the kissing bug uh, bites okay so now this uh, the trypomastigotes uh, uh, they again enter into the body of the insect in this way uh, this uh, the life cycle of uh, the infectious agent trypanosoma cruzi uh, continues in uh, in half of uh, the life cycle completes in uh, invertebrate species and uh, half of the life cycle that takes place in the human being and causes a dangerous disease or it is called as chagas disease i told you the parasites which are accidentally smeared open uh, and they are trying to enter into the body through the wound and the mucous membrane the host responding pain and irritation from the bite uh, from that point usually these uh, trypomastigotes trying to enter into the uh, blood stream or the blood blood circulation through penetration the another category of bugs called as cone nose bugs the other category of bugs known as cone nose bugs belongs to the order hemiptera family reduvidae they are commonly called as assassin bugs assassin bugs there are several bugs are characterized and uh, kept under the hemiptera that too in the family uh, reduvidae so where you can see many number of bugs like kissing bugs corsairs black corsairs wheel bugs and bed bug hunters they are predatory in nature they are predatory in nature 
Several species protect themselves by biting the other individuals. Whereas some of uh, the other, uh, uh, some other species, they have developed a distinct habit of sucking the mammalian blood, and they select some mammalian species as a host, and they continuously draw the blood from the mammalian uh, species. Two genera of these bugs, two genera of these bugs, that is Triatoma and Rhodius. Triatoma and Rhodius contain cone nose bugs. Cone nose bugs comes under two different genera, that is Triatoma and Rhodius. Most cone nose bugs are spread vector borne zoonotic diseases. Most of the cone nose bugs they are responsible for spreading the diseases from animals to the human beings. Hence, they are referred as zoonotic diseases. Chagas disease, I told you. So, this disease is a modern day, it's a modern day tropical disease caused by Trypanosoma cruzi and transmitted by kissing bugs. Why they are called as kissing bugs? So called because they suck human blood from around the lips while a person sleeps. Okay, So that is the reason why they are called as kissing bugs because they suck the human blood around the lips, both upper lip and the lower lip when a person sleeps. So they, for this reason they are referred as kissing bugs. This is the life cycle. Chagas disease is also known as American trypanosomiasis. American trypanosomiasis is a tropical parasitic disease caused by a protozoan uh, parasite trypanosoma cruzi. It is spreaded by uh, mostly by insects known as triatomine kissing bugs. The disease was first discovered in 1909 by Carlos Chagas after whom it is named. This Chagas disease was discovered in the year 1909. The scientist by name uh, Carlos uh, Carlos Chagas for, for this discovery uh, uh, as a honorary. Okay, so his name was kept for th this uh, disease that is Chagas disease. Right, uh, dear students, this is all about bugs as an insect vector or the blood sucking bugs. So these are the reference uh, materials including the link given here. And uh, dear students, this is the time of COVID-19 pandemic. The second wave is operating. Take uh, much precautions. Wash your hands frequently by using soap and uh, sanitizers. Cover your face with the face covering or face mask. Maintain the social distancing at least uh, about 2 meters between the individuals. Stay home, stay safe, save lives. Thank you.